Hi, I'm Katie Rodriguez Wimberly, a physics PhD candidate here at UCI, and I study galaxy evolution. I was inspired to create the PACE program because I had been so fortunate to have wonderful experiences as a mentee through programs like Competitive Edge and UCI Surf and the CalBridge Scholarship Program, which is created at UCI along with Cal Poly Pomona. I wanted to take all of this rich experience that I got and give back to my community. My name is Sumner Norman. I'm a graduate of the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department where I got my PhD in 2017. I'm a uh, postdoctoral scholar in the Division of Biology and Biological Engineering at Caltech now, where I study new ways of imaging the brain. I'm actually a first-generation college student, so before I came to UCI, I was probably missing a lot of the tool set to be successful in academia. So I was really reliant on mentorship throughout my entire experience here. And I think that's really what inspired me to become a mentor once I came to the end of my tenure at UCI. My name is Christopher Lay. I'm a graduate of the Neurobiology and Behavior Program here at UCI. I finished my PhD in 2011 and have gone on to be the founder and CEO of Endeavor. I, the first time I, I met Sumner, I was immediately struck by, wow, this student has it way more together than I did when I was at his sort of milestone as a grad student. Being a mentee, I really learned a lot of things that weren't, aren't written down anywhere. These um, just, they're not necessarily secrets, um, but you have to learn them through um, personal relationships. After the experience of mentoring one or two students, I decided to take on a number of undergraduate students that would actually participate in summer research programs in my lab. Two of those students uh, decided to do graduate school almost immediately. The third one actually was considering dropping out of the program at the time. He decided to actually go to graduate school at UCI. He's a, uh, an engineer at SpaceX now. And so that I can think back on any day that uh, maybe I'm not so impressed with my own work of the day, I can always be proud of the fact that I've had a, at least a few mentees who I've uh, made, hopefully made some positive impact. A mentor-mentee relationship Afford someone the opportunity to stand back, take a deep breath for a moment, and you know, re engage with the big picture. And having that, you know, dual perspective is, I just think, critical some to someone's ultimate success. I quickly learned that uh, Chris and I shared a really common past that we had both been public impact fellows. Uh, we both ended up being commencement speakers. We shared a lot of the same types of research around stroke. What I didn't really uh, expect m more immediately but came to, came to the fore later on was how much of a personal relationship that would become. Right away I could recognize, as Sumner is describing sort of his thought process or where he was at in, in his thesis work, like, oh, I bet you feel this way sometimes, or I bet you, when you encounter this issue, it makes you feel that way. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And the reason I feel that way is because I was there not long ago, and to be able to say, by the way, everyone feels that way. Totally normal, that's okay, you're doing great. Don't, don't let that throw you off. Chris actually gave me an opportunity uh, to help with his company. I learned so much so quickly from Chris and at the same time, didn't not realizing it at the time, but later on realizing how much of a confidence booster that was. We had an opportunity to reconnect and I hosted Sumner down at my offices. And we had had just enough uh, respective career progression that there were so many fun things to talk about. We had developed a relationship that wasn't just about graduate study, but really about ourselves, like how we were evolving, what our perspective was, how that had changed, and where we wanted to go next. I feel like because of mentorship that I can be a successful scientist and that, that, is, that is who I am um, because I've just been encouraged by all of my mentors. We're surrounded on this campus by a tremendous amount of, you know, industry, in healthcare, finance, entrepreneurship, what have you. And I, I just think it's absolutely critical in this time for UCI to build 
bridges you know, out to that community, but more so for the alumni to come back and respond in that same regard and take advantage of the incredible talent pool that is here at UCI.